Well, hi everybody. Hey, uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes and watching our video here. And today what we're going to do is we're going to go over really the difference between expenses and bills. So as you can see, I have the main menu drop down here. <clears throat> and really, I'll jump into the screens in a minute, but the, really the difference is an expense is generally something that was unexpected, a miscellaneous expense. Maybe it was not covered in the estimate. Um, something simple like you bought the crew lunch, but you want to job cost that expense. Um, you ran out of uh, gun nails, so somebody ran to the store supply house to pick up um, pick up a couple of cases of gun nails. So those are your miscellaneous expenses. Your bills, on the other hand, are when you receive an invoice for, say, a purchase order or a subcontract. So you've issued the subcontract or purchase order. The person or the company is then going to turn around and invoice you for that work or for those materials. And then in that case, you're going to go ahead and create a bill. So let's jump into expenses first here. And you can see we have expenses here, miscellaneous expenses. Pretty simple to fill out. Um, not a lot to cover here on the on the really the screens, but let's go through it real quick. So of course you're going to pick the project that is going to be required. Date and reference number. The reference number just can be anything you need it to be. That really isn't tied to anything. Maybe it's an invoice number or or something. Then you have the expense name. What was it that they uh, had to purchase? Who did they purchase it from? And that will pull from your list of vendors. And then you have the opportunity to cost code it. And again, we have the search box here in the cost code field. The add an attachment. That's a very important little button because on the phone, if you remember the phone apps, uh, Android or iPhone, that is a camera button. And so what you would have your employee do is while they're getting ready or waiting in line to check out on the phone, they're going to fill out this portion. As soon as they get that invoice or the receipt, just snap a picture of it. It's going to load the receipt up here. And then as this gets sent over to QuickBooks, it will even carry the copy or the picture um, of that receipt or invoice over to QuickBooks. Over here, you have your expense total. So, of course, just how much was it? Then during your QuickBooks setup, if you're using QuickBooks, you're going to go ahead and set the account and the bank or credit account, however you're going to set that up. Then you have a spot for an expense reason. You also have your activity button down here that will show you when it was created uh, and if somebody modified it. And so up here, we'll jump over. We'll jump over to our bills. So our bills, like I said, this is where the invoice comes in, the invoice for the purchase order or the subcontract. And you do want to be issuing those because, again, I won't go into too much detail here, but they tie back to the estimate. So it's all part of your budgeting process, and that's how you arrive at committed costs through things like purchase orders and subcontracts. Again, you can just see the standard, uh, standard fields, bill number, bill date. Now the vendor, you're going to pull that in and do due date and terms, what project over here. And as we add items to the bill, we don't have to have that, have that invoice in front of us. We can just go over and import from that purchase order for that vendor and it will just pull up any of those. So a subcontract or import from an expense or you can just do a, a manual uh, item. You can also see the other items here, tax total, add discount, freight charge, credit, and you can also do your retainage here as well. Up here we have a gear button, and this is where without having to go back all through uh, company settings, 
you can set how you want this to work. So instead of going back to company settings, we just come up to our gear icon, set your PDF language. If you want to show projects with the status of completed, typically you are going to set that to no. Customize your starting number. So notice a lot of the screens as you move through Contractor Foreman will have that little gear button, and of course they change depending on what screen you're at. So let's just recap real quick. Uh, the expense, that is a miscellaneous expense. Again, something that maybe wasn't covered in the estimate. I'm going to fill out the expense for that. The bills typically are just for your whoops, purchase orders uh, or your subcontracts as those invoices come in. So hope uh, hope that helped clear up the difference between the two. And if you got any other questions, just shoot us an email. Let us know. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a wonderful day.